Today, family and friends said goodbye to longtime Lamar University music professor Dr. Wayne Diaz at a visitation in Nederland. He died Wednesday after suffering from health-related problems. He was 65. Dr. Diaz was also director of jazz studies and an associate professor of trombone. He had taught at Lamar since August of 1977. Diaz touched many lives, including his students. KFDM reporter Leslie Rangel explains why so many people loved Dr. Diaz. Long lines formed at Hillcrest Baptist Church in Nederland, people saying goodbye to Dr. Wayne Diaz. People don't realize that how big a role he played in so many people's lives. A role that didn't stop at musician and instructor. That man was like a father to me, actually. He was a father and a best friend. Carl Woodall is the principal trombone player at Lamar University. He's the one that told me, you know, you can, you can do anything you want to. All you got to do is try. Shoot big. Dream big. For eight years, Woodall was under the direction of Dr. Dias. I was a sophomore in high school, and I had went to a... Lamar basketball game. I introduced myself and from that day on I'd started playing with the Lamar pep band. Woodall says his teacher taught him how to love music. It's hard to put into words. He would get you to pull out effects in the music and different motives in the music that the average ear wouldn't hear. Notes and melodies, a dictionary of language not spoken but heard. He's the one that kept me in music and made me realize that it's life changing if you but listen to it. Now memories left of a man who touched many lives through the sound of music. I'm I'm hoping that I'll get to be one of the one of the people to carry his torch on and carry his passion of music into the future. That's his homework. In Nederland, Leslie Rangel, KFDM Six News. Before his career at Lamar, Dr. Diaz served as a band director at Nederland ISD. Other accomplishments include touring four years with the U.S. Navy Band and performing with a number of well-known conductors and jazz artists. He was also the founder of the Night and Day Orchestra in Southeast Texas.